Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another Fortnite Android video and today in this video we're gonna be talking about how we can fix the lag in Fortnite Android. But before everything else, happy new year to every single one of you who is watching this video right now. May this 2021 brings you all the happiness that you deserve. And I really hope 2021 would be an awesome year for all of us. I also have some awesome videos planned for this channel so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's try to hit 10,000 subscribers till the end of January. I know it sounds impossible but almost 90% of you guys watching my videos are unsubbed. And by doing a quick math, that is almost 80,000 of you guys watching my videos that aren't subscribed yet. And if you're one of them then please hit that subscribe button with post notifications turned on. That will really make my day and I promise that your subscription will be worth it. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into the video. But before starting this, you guys have to know that optimizing the game itself is not in our hands. It's fully up to Epic Games, but what we can do is we can optimize our phone for a better gaming performance. So that's what we're going to do today. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to settings and then go to battery. Make sure the battery saver is turned off. What this basically does is it will lower your CPU and GPU frequencies so that the battery will last longer. So make sure the battery saver is always turned off while playing games. Then you need to go to developer options. If you don't know how to turn on the developer options, first go to about phone and then tap on the build number 7 times. There you go. Now go into your developer options. Now you want to scroll down. Make sure your USB debugging option is always turned off. When it's on and you play Fortnite then Epic Games will think that you're trying to use keyboard and mouse in Fortnite mobile. So they will literally kick you out of the game. So make sure you never turn this on. Now you need to scroll down until you find enable GPU debug layers you need to turn this on and only some phones have this feature enabled that is game driver preference if you have this feature then you can change the game driver of Fortnite to system graphics driver if you don't have this feature then you can leave it most phones like Samsung phones doesn't have this feature enabled so if there's no game driver preference then you can simply ignore it now you have to scroll down until you find where is it force 4x msaa this feature is mostly useful for lower end devices the people who complain about the pixelated graphics can definitely enable this feature for those of you whose graphics are not pixelated then they can simply turn this option on or you can experiment it yourself for me the graphics aren't that bad so I'll turn it off. And then you need to enable the disable SW overlays. So the next option is only available for some phones which is set GPU renderer. By default it's in OpenGL and you can change it to Vulkan. Now scroll down until you find background process limit. Make sure you keep it to standard limit or at most two processes. For me, I'll keep it to standard limit. Now the next thing you want to check is the storage of your phone. For me, the 61% storage has been used and 28 GB is free. Make sure your phone has at least 5 to 10 GB of free storage. So at least try to keep 5 to 10 GB of free storage left for your phone. So the next thing you want to do is you need to download the Game Booster app from the description of this video. This game booster is recommended by XDA developers so you can fully trust this booster. Press the try limited version and then press the plus button. Now select Fortnite and then press save. Now go to the settings of Fortnite and then you can find different options. Here you can turn on the auto reject calls and some other options. For me, I'll leave everything to normal. Now turn this on and then select clear background apps. Now turn this on again and then keep it to aggressive. 
and then you can simply start Fortnite. So the next way to fix lag is an in-game glitch. This method was found by one of my subscriber named Provoke. So in order to do this glitch, first we need to go to settings and then set the frame rate to 20. Then we need to start a solo game and then wait until it shows waiting for server. Okay, as soon as it shows waiting for server, then we need to change it back to 30. And that's pretty much the glitch. And you can even try it with 60 FPS. I don't know how it works but I actually tried this method and I honestly felt some differences in performance. So you can definitely give it a shot. So I saved the most important tip for the last which is to make your phone cool while gaming. So I personally use a table fan and it's 100% worth it. When our phone overheats then the CPU and GPU will automatically lower their frequencies in order to reduce the heat and that will directly affect our gameplay. So when you cool your phone with a fan then the CPU and GPU will run at the default frequency which will help the game to run at a consistent frame rate. So the gameplay you are seeing right now is after I used all these methods to get this consistent frame rate. I hope this video helps you and if you made it till the end and you aren't subscribed yet then please hit that subscribe button because I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers at the end of the month. Till then enjoy this awesome victory royale gameplay and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Hashtag Fortnite Android Community. Peace.